Hello, in this Visual Basic programming tutorial, I am going to show you the picture box component. Before you can guess what it does, it allows you to display a picture. So if we go to toolbox, go to picture box right here. Okay, so we can either go to properties and from here we can select the image or just click this little arrow here. From here, click choose image. There's already a resource file, you can select it. If not, go to local resource, import and mine is right here image.jpg click open and i'm going to click ok okay my thinking has they even loaded it yes it has so if we go to size mode you can stretch the image as you can see we can do auto size we can do center image and we can do zoom so we can you know do a few different properties i'm going to do true we're going to do Zoom seems like it actually retains the ratio. So if I, as you can see, I'm resizing it. Zoom retains the actual ratio itself, which is, you know, exactly what we want. So if we run this, let's see what we get. As you can see, we have, you know, the image of Gogito on here. And if we go to the properties, you can you know change basic properties you know from background color to you know obviously the properties to do with images we can change the name as well which is what is it would be referred to as in code as well and you know all the a lot of the other stuff is just the basic properties that you can usually interact with and what i will say is as an extra task what i want you to do is obviously messing around with these properties but also try and go crazy with some of the properties programmatically so in here maybe have a button for example and if you click the button detect the click and then do something with the image maybe you can make it invisible maybe change the background color go crazy maybe even change the size so have three buttons small medium large and when you click the large it makes the image big when you click small, it makes the image small. That's it for the picture box component. Thank you for watching. I look forward to seeing you in the next tutorial.